What's up everybody? I'm not gonna pretend that this video was 100% my idea. A couple days ago I saw Adam and Z put up a video where he told us about some BMX hacks. And I thought to myself, I've been riding BMX for 10 years. I also have some life hacks that I want to share with you, my subscribers. And by the way, I'm asking you viewers, if you got any crazy cool BMX life hacks, write it in the comment section right now and I might put it in the next BMX life hack video and I will give you full credit and shout out and everything. If you haven't already seen Adam's channel, you should go check him out. Super cool guy, loads of good content. Go subscribe. Alright, so let's start with the life hacks, shall we? Are you super tired of having dirty hubs which are too lazy to clean them? Here's a trick you can do to get totally clean hubs with zero effort. Tie a shoelace around your hub. And ride. As you ride, the shoelace will take off all the dust trying to get to your hub. Smart, right? And if your hub is as dirty as my back hub, you will have to put in a little bit more effort. Yes, good as gold. You're trying to do tail whips, but your foot keeps on sliding off the crank arm. What do you do? Grip tape on the crank arm. Your brakes does not grip, probably because you're terrible at setting up your brakes. What do you do? I don't ride brakes, so I will have to show you on Benedicta's bike. Right, so your problem might be the rim. There might be dust here, there might be dirt, which causes the brake pads to slip. This is glue. Glue for glue gun. Alright, so what you want to do with the glue? You want to put it on the rim. If you put the glue on both sides of the rim, congratulations, your brakes is now better. You can thank me by liking the video. If you don't have the glue, anything with sugar in it, Red Bull, Sprite, Co, orange juice, you name it, this will work just as good, but the effect will wear off quicker. Your spoke breaks, and now your bike looks super ratchet, and all your friends make fun of you. Bend, bend. Your bike still is ratchet, but it doesn't look as ratchet, and that's a good thing. Right, so the next BMX life hack may only appeal to some of you. Through my whole riding career, I've been struggling with spinning cranks when I try to do whips. You try to do a tail whip and your cranks move. What do I do? Right, so this, this is a bottom ratchet. The large spacer in the middle, so you can grind the big middle spacer, two millimeters shorter, and then you just put it on as normal and you touch your cranks super super hard and you will feel your cranks moving slow, smooth and slow. Good to go, your cranks will not spin when doing whips. You're getting new grips and they're super hard and uncomfortable. What do you do? So you might have heard the rumors that you can boil grips to make them softer. I don't know. I have no idea if that's true, but I do know for a fact one easier way than boiling your grips. Take your grip, place it behind your head, and stretch as hard as you can. And it's good to go. Alright, so when you stretch the grips, you can feel like the rubber, like just... You can feel that you stretched it apart, and your grip is soft and good to go. Right, so when you ride BMX, your hands get really messed up. And when I say messed up, I don't mean like it hurts a little bit after riding. It can be intense, it can be crazy. This is what my hand looks like right now. And now it's almost at its best. Dry, chapped up. And in the summertime, when we ride up to, we can actually ride up to 12 hours in a day. 12 hours of riding definitely messes up your hands. So what to do? I keep this bottle of sand. That's right, I keep a bottle of sand in my house. Water on my hands, pour some sand into my hands. And I rub, I rub hard. Do 
You have no idea how soft my hands feel right now. And you will probably never ever find it out either if you don't try it at home. So you should go try it at home right now. And by the way, this is not a beauty tip. Not a beauty tip. This is the only way it's physically possible for me to ride 12 hours on a sunny day without my hands being damaged. Your bars feel too low. And you can't afford new tall bars? What do you do? You see the stem. This is a front low stem. If you have the same kind of stem, turn the stem upside down. Congratulations, your bars are now taller. And by the way, good tools is always to recommend. Right, so we want to do loads of foot jumps, but you keep on squeezing your toe in between the tire and the fork, just like I do. And that really hurts. So what are we going to do about the problem? Take your bike, upside down, take off the wheel. Right, so we see this bar end, right? Place this bar end into your fork. And you're good to go. So your wheel might rub to the bar end. What can we do to fix it? Grind the bar end down until it fits. See? Grind it down. Look good to go. No more sore toes. And if it for some reason still won't fit up there, take some duct tape around the bar end and you're good to go. And last, but definitely not least, one of my all-time favorite BMX life hacks. All right, take a look at this. And by the way, what happens when you give a BMX bike to a girl? You get loads of crystal glued to the hub. <laughs> All right, so say that you have this nut is stuck on your hub and you have no place to mount the axle so it stands still. Take off the wheel. So if this nut right here is stuck, how can you get it off? If you try to take off this as normal, the axle will only spin. So how can you make the axle stand still so you can take off this nut? Take your wheel and place it on the outside of the dropout. Just like this. Mount it. Your axle is now stuck to the frame and you're free to open up the bearing. I really really hope you enjoyed watching this video about me telling you about my BMX life hacks. If you think that you can use some of these life hacks, you should go press the like button on this video right now. And I will see you in the next video which is gonna contain loads of riding. So stay tuned. Drop me a like, subscribe if you haven't, press the bell and you should go out and ride. See you in two days.